help support the companies that support our community. Hi, I'm Carl from the Woodshop TV, and this is the follow-up for the wand I did Friday. As far as issues, I had plenty of them. The, I used the miter set to make the segments on it, and they came out perfect, but when I lined the little block back up on the thing, it just it didn't work. And it was just off just a little bit, but it like magnifies it 10 times when you start turning it. So uh, anyway, started over with all the pieces. The tulip wood that Jason sent me is just, it's a beautiful wood to turn and it's just some great colors. As far as the stem here, I did it out of maple and then burn it with the Lynchburg machine. Again, I'll put a link down below in the description where you can find those from Charles at Conestoga Works. But it's a great way to decorate stuff. And as far as Lynchburg goes, it's probably the safest way to go with doing stuff like that. But uh, I really like really like the effect it gives. Um, we've been, for the last week and a half or so, on the live show, we have been working on the Stingray box. And I finally got it done. On Friday we dyed the base on it I really like the way it came out um, I used maple and walnut on the whole thing um, I'm working on another one I didn't do a video for this but I will do a video here in a uh, probably a couple of weeks making the, the same thing but uh, yeah it's it's really cool if you didn't see it I did a winged um, uh, bowl quite a while ago and you can check that video out to see how you get the, the little wings up and down like that But I'm really happy with how it came out and I want to thank everybody too for all their input on the on the show and Robin helped me out too Her idea was putting the little baby stingray on there and, and doing the base and so it kind of looked like the bottom of the ocean and then uh, Ron and, and Steve uh, their idea was doing the blue and sprinkling it on and it came out came out fantastic I really like the effect it gave but yeah um, and I'm not sure how big it is I didn't measure that it is let's see oh I don't want to drop it it's uh, about five inches long and overall it's about about 14 inches from the tail all the way to the to the tip there and to the head yeah uh, yeah, I really like it. And I can't remember, the Stingray box isn't my idea. Um, I can't remember the guy's name. I believe he's in Australia or New Zealand. And he came up with this uh, the Stingray uh, box idea a long time ago. All right, uh, a couple things to share with you. Again, the Make It Matters auction is going on until next Saturday or this Saturday. Um, so go check it out. I'll put a link down below in the description to that, um, and it's going very well. So please go over there and check it out and help support it. It's to help uh, raise money for uh, families with autistic children. So please, please go help support that. A uh, couple other things. Um, I wanted to mention too, again, uh, the Toolmasters Association. I'm an affiliate with them, with Izzy, and if you want to help support the channel and um, get some great deals on tools, there'll be a link in the description. So head on over there. It's uh, We're doing classes over there, giveaways, like I said, great deals on tools, discounts on tools and stuff. So please go check that out. All right, I have uh, quite a few things to share today too. Um, Along with that, uh, we're, we're gonna be in Atlanta at the end of the month, so um, if you're in the area, please stop by and say hi to everybody. There's a, just a ton of people gonna be there, so please go check that out. Uh, I, I got a, a John, this is his first lidded box. Very nice, John. Did a segmented one. He said this first time he turned had turned a segmented box. So very nice. Jamie, Jamie Page, thank you so much, Jamie. Love you, brother. Uh, he did a portrait of Robin and I on the scroll saw. Very nice. So I'll put a link uh, down below to his that video in the description. And Paul. Paul couldn't couldn't get in on time on the Christmas ornament challenge, but he still wanted to do it. He did an inside out uh, Christmas ornament, so go check that out. Uh, I'll put a link. That's a video too. I'll put a link down below in the description for that. Very very nice job, Paul. And Pat, just a reminder to be safe. I'll put a link to his video. He was casting a bowl, um, and it just it exploded on the lathe. So be safe. All right. Um, all right, I think that is it. Um, 
yeah, please head on over to the Toolmasters. Um, the link's in the description for that. And we got some stuff uh, in the works for um, in the background. So it, it, we should open up some more, uh, some more uh, companies are coming on board. So please, please go check that out. All right, that is about it. If this is your first time here, I have a new project video every Friday on my main channel, and we will be doing the Stingray box here in a couple of weeks. This week, we're gonna do a back to basics. I'm gonna do some vacuum chucks. I, when I was up in uh, Seattle, I got the chance to talk to Dave, um, and he, he has some vacuum chucks, and I really think it's a, a great idea, and we'll, uh, will help out quite a bit so we're gonna gonna do uh make our own vacuum chucks so that will be friday all right till next week take care